XMAX is now capable of unprecedented power with a host of upgrades to max out the performance of this award-winning monster truck. The new VXL 8S power system puts out 30 plus volts of extreme power, giving XMAX acceleration and speed that defy its massive size. When outfitted with a pair of Traxxas 4S LiPo batteries, XMAX delivers wheelies on command and 50 plus miles per hour top speed. To accommodate this increase in power, the entire driveline has been upgraded with tough steel gears, high performance drive shafts and bearings, and heavy duty steel ring and pinion gears. A new torque biasing center drive improves acceleration, while also reducing the impact on the drive system when you're hitting big jumps and bashing over rough terrain. A dual fan cooling system ensures uninterrupted high speed action and fun. Built in thermal sensing provides additional motor protection. The new max size wheelie bar is mandatory equipment and it helps harness the massive power for wheels up fun. It also has a convenient handle making it easier to transport X-Max to your next adventure. Tools needed will include standard 2mm and 2.5mm hex tools. Power tools are okay when used at a low torque setting. You will also need a pair of needle nose pliers, side cutters, a small flathead screwdriver, and the wheel tool included with your X-Max. A few microfiber cloths will also be useful. Make sure you have enough room to keep all of your components and hardware organized as you perform the conversion. Start by removing the body to access the chassis and make sure the batteries are removed. The modular design of XMAX simplifies the installation of these upgraded components. We will begin with the rear upgrades. Remove the rear suspension module by taking out the two screws from the top chassis brace, eight screws from the top of the chassis, and two screws from the bottom of the chassis. Remove the four screws from the bottom of the motor. Remove the two screws from the gear cover and remove the cover. Pull the motor out of the chassis and set aside the guide pins. Remove the pinion gear from the motor. The 15 tooth gear is recommended for general running, wheelies on demand, and 45 plus miles per hour speeds. For high-speed runs, the optional 18-tooth gear can be installed to reach speeds over 50 miles per hour. Now carefully remove the rear module. Remove the wheel nuts, wheels, hex clips, and wheel hubs from both sides of the rear suspension module. Remove the outer screws and pins from the upper suspension arms and remove the drive shafts and hubs from both sides. Remove the top screws and pins from the two rear shocks and move the shocks to the side. Remove the screws and pins from the upper suspension arms. Remove the two screws connecting the bumper mount to the shock tower. Release the shock tower from the bulkhead. Remove the four screws from the bottom of the skid plate to release the plate and rear bumper. Remove the screws and pins from the lower suspension arms. Remove the tie bar. Remove the gear covers from the bulkhead. Remove the slipper clutch assembly. Remove the five screws in the rear cover to access the differential. Take out the four screws on top to remove the upper bulkhead. Now remove and set aside the differential and gears. Remove the bottom cover and tie bars from the bulkhead. Go ahead and install them on the new bulkhead. Now take the bearing from the differential pinion gear and place it on the new gear. Put the included high performance bearings on the new torque biasing center drive assembly. Put the pinion gear into the torque biasing center drive and place the whole assembly into the new bulkhead. Now install the new upper bulkhead, which has been reshaped to accommodate the upgraded drivetrain components. 
Assemble the new Cush drive, which will replace the slipper clutch. The Cush drive will absorb the instant torque hit of the new VXL 8S power system. Put the Cush drive assembly into the new bulkhead and install the gear covers you removed from your original bulkhead. Now disassemble the original differential, holding it upright to avoid spilling any oil. Remove the first drive cup. Remove the bearing and side gear, as well as the washer and O-ring. Now we will install the new ring gear and drive cup. Reassemble the differential with these new components. Use the original screw to install the new drive cup. Use the included hardware to attach the new ring gear to the differential case. Remove the second drive cup from the rear differential and replace it with the new one. Apply the included grease to the ring gear. Place the newly upgraded differential into the rear bulkhead. We can now begin to reassemble the rear module. Install the differential cover and tie bar. Refer to the exploded view diagram as needed. Reinstall the shock tower and suspension arms, replacing all screws and pins. Go ahead and assemble the new drive shafts. These drive shafts include bigger drive pins to transfer big power from the differentials to the wheels. Install the new drive shafts and replace the hubs and clips. Insert the drive shafts into the drive cups as you replace the pins and screws on the outer suspension arms. Disconnect the rear bumper mount from the skid plate so you can install the wheelie bar. Reattach the skid plate to the bottom of the bulkhead. Remove the rubber impact cushion from the rear skid plate. Now install the new wheelie bar and reattach the rear bumper mount. Use the new 4x25 screws to connect the wheelie bar and bumper mount. Now reinstall the wheels and wheel nuts to both sides of the rear module. Reinsert the center drive shaft. With the new components installed, reconnect the rear module. Now replace the two screws in the chassis brace, eight screws from the top of the chassis, and two screws from the bottom of the chassis. We're about halfway through the upgrade at this point, so grab a drink and take a break while you check out some of the high-speed action you can expect with 8S Power. Now let's install the new power system. Remove the wire clamp and receiver box cover. Disconnect the VXL6S connector from the channel 2 slot in the receiver and disconnect the voltage sensor. Pull the wires out of the receiver box so you can remove the electronic speed control. 
The voltage connector can be removed without taking out the receiver. However, if you do remove the receiver, be sure to secure it with double-sided tape in the same location and orientation to maintain top performance. Use side cutters to remove the zip tie from the chassis brace. Remove the VXL6S speed control from the vehicle by taking out the two screws that secure it to the chassis. Disconnect the motor wires and remove the VXL6S unit. Remove the top cover for easier installation. Install the new VXL8S speed control. Pull the connector through the wire cover on the receiver box and plug it into the channel 2 slot in the receiver. Install the new dual fan cooling system on the motor heatsink. Now replace the gear guide pins. With the 15 tooth pinion gear and 54 tooth spur gear, put the pins in the C positions. If using the 18 tooth pinion gear or another gearing setup, refer to the chart. Put the motor in place and replace the gear cover. Now replace the four screws under the chassis to secure the motor. You can keep the wires tidy by routing them under the center chassis brace support. Plug the cooling system into any open channel on the receiver. Now replace the receiver box cover and wire clamp. Connect the motor wires to the VXL8S speed control. The wire should be oriented towards the front of the vehicle. Now we will perform upgrades to the front of the vehicle. Begin the front end upgrade by removing the two screws from the bumper mount and then removing the four screws from the bottom of the skid plate. Remove these components from the vehicle. Remove the wheel nuts and wheels from both sides of the front module. Remove the five screws from the front differential cover and remove the cover. For easier access to the front differential, disconnect one of the shocks by removing the screw and pin. Remove the front differential and set it aside for now. Remove the hex clips and wheel hubs to take out the drive shafts. Install the new drive shafts and replace the clips. Pull out the front differential pinion gear and install the new one. Now we will rebuild the front differential with the upgraded components, just like we did with the rear differential. Remove the first drive cup. Remove the bearing and side ring, as well as the washer and O-ring. Now we will install the new ring gear and drive cup. Reassemble the differential with these new components. Use the original screw to install the new drive cup. Use the included hardware to attach the new ring gear to the differential case. Remove the second drive cup from the front differential and replace it with the new one. Apply the included grease to the ring gear. Place the newly upgraded front differential into the front bulkhead and connect the new drive shafts to the drive cups. Reinstall the front cover. Reconnect the front shock. Reconnect the front skid plate and bumper mount.
reinstall the wheels and wheel nuts, and the component upgrades are now complete. To take full advantage of the VXL 8S conversion, use Trax's 4-cell LiPo batteries and the 12-amp EasyPeak Live Charger with Bluetooth connectivity. This new power system is designed to run on full 8-cell power, so there's no need to hold back. Take advantage of 30-plus volts of LiPo power and go big with the next generation X-Max. Visit us at Traxxas.com for additional upgrades and accessories, as well as videos and tutorials for X-Max and all of our high-performance Traxxas models.